Here we'll look at the point plotting method for graphing different equations. So first, what kind of equations are we graphing using this method? This method is used to graph equations in two variables. Essentially what this means is we have some kind of equation, so it contains an equal sign, and we have two different letters. In this case, usually x and y. A few examples, x squared plus y squared equal to seven is an equation in two variables. Another one, 3x plus 2y equal to 5. We also have something like y equal to 4x minus 1 or y squared equal to x. These are all equations in two variables and we'll look at what their graphs mean and then how to graph them. Before we actually look at graphing these, we need to know what it means to satisfy one of these equations. We say that any values of x and y that result in a true statement satisfy the equation. Essentially, if you have a number for x and a number for y that makes the equation true, then those numbers satisfy the equation. And a graph of one of these equations consists of all the points that satisfy the equation. There are an infinite number of these points that will satisfy different equations, and so the graph just shows you all of the possible points that would work. Is 3, 4 on the graph of 2x plus y equal to 6? Essentially to find this out, the first number represents x and the second number represents y, and we want to know if this is a true statement. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4, and 6 plus 4 is 10, which is not equal to 6. So no, this point is not on the graph. The next one is 1, 4 on the graph of 2x plus y equal to 6. This time x is 1 and y is 4. I get 2 plus 4 which is 6, so our equation is satisfied. Therefore, yes, this point is on the graph. Now let's actually use the point plotting method to graph things. Essentially, the idea is to pick some numbers for x and see what y needs to be, and then we can plot those points. We'll do some random numbers, we'll do negative 4, negative 2, 0, 1, and then we'll do a number like 5. Essentially, it doesn't matter which numbers you pick as long as you're able to pick up the general pattern. If I stick in negative 4 here, that would be 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8, minus 3 is negative 11. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, minus 3, is negative 7. 2 times 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 2 times 1 minus 3 is negative 1. And 2 times 5 minus 3 is 7. And now essentially we just want to graph these points. I'll start at the bottom. We need to go over to the right 5 and then up 7. That gets us this point here. The next one up is to go over one and down one. Here. We also have zero, negative three, negative two, seven. And then in this case, 4, negative 4, 11 is a little off of our graph, but that's okay because we can see that the general pattern here is just a line. So here we have the graph. Our next example, we want to graph y equal to x squared plus 1. Once again, we'll pick some numbers for y. And this time we'll get a little bit better of a pattern. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. If I stick in negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, plus 1 is 5, 
negative 1 squared plus 1 is 2, 0 squared plus 1 is 1, 1 squared plus 1 is 2, and 2 squared plus 1 is 5. And now we can plug these points into our graph over negative 2 and up 5. The next one over negative 1 and up 2, over 0 up 1, over 1 up 2, and over 2 up 5. And then we can get the general shape of this graph passing through these points.